<sighs> Alright, another two to add to the pile. It helps if I don't think about this too much, but you know, sometimes this is just what fate has in store. Kind of like the way that fate apparently has in store a bunch of tar for this area. What the heck? Get in here, Hennens! Get in here! I'm so sorry, but I have questionable purposes for your life. Like, you're- I'm not saying you're gonna- Okay, look, it's, it's complicated! In you go! Oh my gosh. All right. Well, hello everyone and welcome- Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Welcome, welcome back to our adventures here. Oop, 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 um, um. To our adventures here in Slime Rancher 2, where we just saw the golden slime for the first time. And, and I biffed it. I biffed it. Because I was so stunned. I, I honestly cannot remember the last time I have seen a golden slime. So, that, that could have gone better. <laughs> but maybe it's a sign that even though it has been very hard to go ahead and collect up hen hen after hen hen after hen hen to sacrifice to the starving, apparently, Gordos. This is so pretty, what the heck? To sacrifice to the Gordos who seem to demand them as uh, vast quantities of food, we are actually potentially on the right path. Not if it leads you straight into the slime sea, but uh, metaphorically, perhaps we are on the right path. Even though emotionally and you know, ethically, we are perhaps in more, uh, more. We're, we're, we're thinking we're a little dubious for feeding all of the hen hens to these Gordos. But maybe we are on the right path if, like, one of the, the golden slimes popped up right under our feet. Also, maybe we're on the right path for discovering something new. Where the heck are we? Ah! Oh, hello, friends! Do be careful. Three of you pop it. Three types of you popping out at once is just, like, bad news bears for everybody. All right. Hold up. Where's this one go to? Is it gonna lead me... Wait a second. Is there something above me on the mountain? And I'm just being distracted? I think there might be. Also, I hear the radiant ore somewhere around here. Or was there a diamond? I think I vaguely remember there's like a resource somewhere up here. That would be very nice to go ahead. I hear you. What is that? Okay, we're gonna have to move. Where is it hiding? Maybe I'll be safe over here to be able to explore. There's something shiny that's yelling for us. Oh, it's the lucky slime down there! What the absolute heck? Okay. Okay, okay. Lucky slime? This is, oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever fed the lucky slime. Oh my gosh. That's all you get? Like 50? Look, I needed those hen hens. Those were really critically important hen hens for like a critical mission Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. I, I I don't know! Is that a sign that greed is going to go ahead and destroy us? Maybe having, like, okay, where am I? I'm so in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is all a sign that greed is going to go ahead and destroy us. Because, um, you know, the golden slime showed up, the lucky slime showed up. I got very excited about both of those things, but at the end of the day, did that really help us much? I don't think so. I don't really think it did. Maybe, maybe it was a sign that, yeah, we're, okay, if I feed you, will you not be mad? Okay, I don't think that one's mad. Yeah. All right, we're, we're definitely running in circles and things are definitely, very, oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, I've almost replaced the hen hen population that we lost and that we need to like keep keep up. 
I'm gonna do a double scan for anybody. Now, the thing is, with this many slimes active, I don't think... Wait, what's that? Oh, hey, it's a radiant ore. I must have dropped... Oh, I did drop those earlier! No way! The radiant ore I dropped are all still here! Sweet! Okay! We actually just got so many more. That was the 11 that I thought I had lost before, and 11 radiant ore might sound like a lot to be particular, or like not anything special, and not something to, you know, get all excited about. But I'm telling you what, guys, that actually took a little bit of effort to collect, so I'm happy to see it again. Hey, buddy! The poor little bat slime seems like he got confused because he's outside at night. And there's somewhere- I still want to call those, like, asteroids. I still think that would be a good name for them. Maybe. Because they're bats. Hmm. They're bats. They can fly. They're- they're flying meteors to me still. Oh dear. And now they're- they've turned into tars. <laughs> See? The, just like the- the slimes sometimes have the cycle of life disrupt the system and make it so that they actually end up uh, turning into TARS. Perhaps we too... Let's see, I think I want to jump over there. Perhaps we too must accept that the Hen-Hens have their place, just like the Slimes have their place. If we have to just turn our backs when the TAR trouble begins and say, oh, that's just the way nature works, then perhaps it's a sign that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna gather these, these puddle. No, 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 not phosphor, thank you very much. This is a lot of free puddle plorts that I'm gonna grab. There we go. But yeah, if, if we have to accept it for slimes, maybe we should go ahead and we should also accept, uh, like, just fate for the hen hens at some point too. Because uh, who am I to judge the ecosystem as it works? It's not like I'm eating the hen hen. Hmm, it's still, still, still something to think about, I think. All right, this is actually really useful. What the heck? Why are there so many puddle ports here? Also, why is the, the water so shiny and beautiful? Nice! Wow, we're actually, okay. And you know what? This is like one of the prettiest places I could think you could live, the little do. So I'm gonna leave you here. And then, should I collect the, the buzz wax? Where is it? Ah, there it is. I was like almost right under it. And then maybe we'll gather the buzz wax, and I'll see if 10 of these hen hens are enough to finish feeding the tabby. There we go. Man, gathering these resources is hard now. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to the time where we're going to be able to go ahead and have better, like, everything. <laughs> Which, I guess, does demand its own sacrifices. Okay. Those guys seem to be doing okay. I just feel like I must be missing something for, like, riding that geyser. Okay, let's get our energy back. <sighs> and we're gonna see, is this enough? Is this enough for you? When? When will you- oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> Hello, little ones! This, this, okay. Uh, I think I'm, oh, oh, is this a new warp? Oh. <gasps> no! No, come back! Oh, who knows what could have been in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is fine. Right? Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh my. Oh! Okay, you guys stay here. I'm gonna actually leave you with the buzz wax. Cause I don't, oh! Oh boy. Where am I now? It's so pretty. What the heck, why are there falling hens? Wow. Wait, I'm back home? Wait. Mind blown! Confusion! I'm on the home island? What? 
What? That's my conservancy? What? This was- what? Pardon? This was here the whole time? Hydro turret, a defensive cannon. Okay. Nice. Good. What? Oh my gosh. This is so perplexing. Wait, is this literally just like a little cave? It's literally just a little cave. Okay. So I think there's just a little cave here on the main island. Almost right next to home. <laughs> that we could actually just take as a warp back and forth. Okay. I... I mean... I'm not really... Like, and then this is where a bunch of the hen hens are hiding. And apparently there's like a... Like, the angry guys live here too. The angry Largos. But... The brain... What? Also, more treasure chest in my own backyard? I mean, I knew there had to be some because we haven't explored terribly much, but still. Like, this close. Heart cell. Use it fabricator to upgrade our heart module. Probably very useful to do. Alright. Alright. I guess it's finally time to go ahead and explore some of the tippy top of where we live because this is just a little embarrassing that I didn't know that that even existed. All right, what did I tell you guys? Exploring the tippy top. Mm -hmm. I see some jellystone. Small boulder, larger than a pebble, smaller than a boulder. All right, so, well, okay, that looks kind of promising over on that side. Uh, I don't know if I can, Whee! Okay, nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to stop making those jumps until I upgrade my jetpack because they are way too ambitious, I think. But then at the same time, you are very often rewarded for this kind of ambition with like shiny treasure. That's a really dangerous philosophy in life, you know? It's like, oh, but once upon a time I managed to find something that gave me a recipe for, like, okay, actually, I would, I would do it if it gave me a recipe for, like, <laughs> being able to craft some sort of amazing plant thing that I could add to my glorious greenhouse. I can see how you could get the adventure bug from that. Okay, what are we gonna do with ourselves? Well... I guess we could go home and we could take all of these puddles and all of these radiants with us. And then we could gear up again by going ahead and trying to prepare ourselves for a uh, another showdown with the great Hen Hen Sacrifice. Because this time we would actually be headed over and we would be working with none other than the Boom Gordo. And who even knows what the Boom Gordo wants? Like, what the heck? It's, it's huge. It goes, it, it, oh, oh no. Oh dear. When I finish feeding the boom gordo, is there going to be like a gigantic explosion? Do I need to like really prepare for that? Cause that, that might end badly. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's see how our, our new hen hen populations are doing. And let's put all of this stuff down in the refinery. Oh, somebody else called. Jeez. I, I am kind of stunned at how popular we've been. It's been like one day. Yo, B, I got you a little something. Emphasis on little. Because I got myself something big. It's way better. Oh, a little tree. Thank you. And Ogden. Oh, he's yawning. Oh, Beatrix. I've been putting in a few long nights reading lately. Specifically, I've been going through every field guide and botanical research paper I could dig up on the far, far range. I thought that even if the flora on Rainbow Island is unusual, maybe it would have been recorded somewhere with some information we could use. And it turns out, there's nothing. I can't find a single mention of rainbow-hued flora anywhere. So that means that whatever happened at that island to make it look that way, happened relatively recently. 
But I don't think you need me to tell you this, because you've seen it yourself. The things you've described. An entire portion of the island split between two different colors right down the middle. That says accident to me, Beatrix. So tread carefully out there. Nature can be a dangerous thing to us, but it pales in comparison to what we can do to it. Oh, I'm going to keep digging around my library for anything else that could help you. And if I come up short there, maybe I'll just bake you some muffins. Either way, bye Beatrix. Adios. All right. All right. He is really cool. And I'm increasingly convinced that there's going to be something about this tree that we're going to really regret. But what are you going to do? You're just going to have to do your best. You're just going to have to show up and say, hey, Captain, how you doing? He seems like he's doing well. You're gonna have to say like, oh, like, hello, Hen Hen who's trapped over there. Uh, and well, you know what? You've been a lab assistant for so long. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to take you for the great Hen Hen sacrifice. Uh, and then let's go ahead, carefully put all of these puddle ports away. Carefully put away all of this radiant ore. And I think, so, yeah, we have the resource harvester. We could do... Oh, that's actually really cheap. We'll just go ahead and grab that upgrade. Um, And if I had boom ports, we could do ba like faster boots. And then I need to find the silky sand and the deep brine. <sighs> I thought that would be with the puddle slimes, but apparently not. And then the warp tech. Again, deep brine primordial oil. Oh, and look at all the cute things everybody's made so that we can go ahead and decorate. We need to find a better way to get resources because this is just really hard when you have to go like really, 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 really far away just to be able to get like a couple. I don't know about that, friends. Also, hello, little chickadoo. Did you fly the coop? Oh, geez. <laughs> all right, note to self. Their populations seem to be doing fine. Maybe everyone's just very optimistic and excited about the future of, um... Let's see, I'm grab this guy, this guy. Yeah, maybe everybody's just very optimistic and excited about the, the, the wonderful future that they have been told that, that, you know, they get to have. Maybe they weren't among the chosen of their friends who have now disappeared to the great journey. Um, but, but, but perhaps the treasures that we bring back on the great journey will be worth it. We'll have to wait and see. All right, how are we doing over here? We've got three little briar chicks. Hello, little friends. Oh, I hope you guys grow up big and strong. Okay, so they're reproducing just fine. Um, and I mean, we know where we can find some stone hens. So I think it may be a good idea to get the stone hen population up too, but I think we're gonna have to do the exact same thing we ended up doing with the tabby gordo. Again? Oof, jeez, people. Beatrix, I have something I must share with you about the AI. As you know, we have been exchanging questions with one another. Well, this back and forth became faster and more casual over time, almost like a natural conversation. I assumed it was simply evolving and adapting to the style of talk it observed in me, but then something happened. Well, we, began play we had begun playing a game of Go as we talked, a way I could further test its intellect and no doubt it could test mine. Oh, I love playing Go, but Chips wins every time. I give it my best shot though. These games would go on long into the night, and so would our conversations, feeling more and more natural even though I knew that the entity I was speaking to was just a complex collection of code. Wait, was it you? Is it is it AI based off your brain? And then one day, as the sun was rising, it suggested just one more game. I said certainly, but I needed to make myself a cup of coffee if I were to stay awake for it. And it replied, me too. I just stared at the screen, not knowing what to say. But then suddenly, as if knowing what it had just done, it disconnected. I have not heard from them since, but I hope I do. Until then, I will wait, staying busy with my work as always, asking those questions that need answers. But I will do so with the Go board ready for another game. Someday, anyway. Goodbye, Beatrix. I hope to talk again soon. Huh. 
show, every time I get off the, the messaging with him, I feel like I'm going to turn around and just like find something behind me. Scares the Badoo dads out of me. So, here's my thoughts. I wonder if it wasn't an AI that Victor was actually talking to. I wonder if it was like an alien or someone else or someone who had been divorced from humanity for so long that their behavior was extremely alien until they began to adapt once more to speaking with Victor. And if that's the case, that's spooky sauce, guys. That's, that's, that's straight up spooky sauce. Because I'm alone on this island with a lot of things that go bump in the night or or in whatever noise that these little guys are making. Get away. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, okay, we got the stony hen. I mean, that's not going to be good for the stony hen. Anyway, because unfortunately, oh, there's a jelly thing over here. All right, noted. Because unfortunately, the fate I have in mind for this poor stone hen. What? Another one! Perhaps isn't the best, but at least- Oh, a tree! Nice! At least we're giving it our best shot. Also, this is beautiful. What the heck? Alright. Anything else around here? Oh, a tar. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and book it. Um, can't grab that hen because it is the normal type. And then we're gonna have to go ahead and see what happens when we release the Gordos and uh, can see what the boom slime is hiding. Because things are getting a little bit more ominous, if you ask me. I mean, we're literally having to mass sacrifice a bunch of hen hens. I knew this wasn't going to lead somewhere good. I knew it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for, um, for our poor red hens. And at least the fact that Briar Hen Hen Culture tries to go ahead and honor their sacrifice as it does. And if you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.